Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Class Time Stamp. Um, just going to get started. we got a few announcements, a couple good news, a couple bad news. Um, bad news is, for those of y'all that we're going to be jumping on tonight, we're going to be doing an Instagram Live video uh, chat with a special guest. That's not going to happen tonight until Friday, um, so nothing major. But we're just going to post one tonight's a live chat so Friday it said um, other bad news this will probably be the last week we do the YouTube live videos that being said that's what the good news is for we got some things cooking for you guys for next week so can't give you any tips more than that on what it is this will probably be our last YouTube live video um, for the foreseeable future but we've got some good things coming up to replace it down the road uh, so we've got all the way today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we'll change things up on Monday. Um, but for those of y'all that are just joining, we're going to be doing some chest back and abs today. We're going to be focused on bands. I have my dumbbells right here. Uh, I'm going to focus on bands for myself. I've got the bands in the uh, door wedge tonight. Um, if you do not have a door wedge, we're going to be starting with some back loads. You can simply stand on your bands, grab little nose handles, and hit those rows. Or if you want to put your bands around something that's sturdy, whether it's a door handle, uh, the base of your couch. If you have heavier set of dumbbells, you can put them underneath your dumbbells. But everything's going to be time for us tonight, so we're going to be going for about a minute to 90 seconds on all our exercises. I'm going to go ahead and get my stopwatch ready. We're going to start with back rows. Now we're going to go straight through for about 90 seconds on this back, and then we're going to hit your chest. So if you've got dumbbells, you can go dumbbell rows, you can alternate, or you can also do flies if you've got lighter dumbbells. So Let's go ahead and hit these rows. I'm going to go one dumbbell in each hand. You can't see, but I got bare down by my feet, so we're kind of straddling them awkwardly tonight. So let's hit these rows in three, two, one. Let's go right here. So warm this back up. I've got some extra bands coming, some heavier bands coming. I can switch to hopefully for next week. But yeah, we got some exciting things coming down the road. Um, can't. Tell you what they are, but just stay close to your Instagram feeds, which let's be honest, everybody's doing anyway. So gonna be probably last week of bands so, or YouTube videos for, for now. So we'll see how things go. But that being said, hope everybody had a good Wednesday. It's a little hazy out there today. About 45 seconds here with that chest. This round will just be chest and back. We'll throw in some abs on the second, third, and fourth runs. Let's warm up with some rows right here. Got about 30 seconds to go. Now, when we switch to chest, when I have the bands in the wedge like I do here, I'm going to be doing some chest crossovers. You can also turn around and do a chest press. If you're on the floor with the band standing on with your hands, you can just stand and do a chest fly coming straight up with the band if you want. Also, if you do have your bands anchored around something, you can also do these chest crossovers that we're about to do in about 10 seconds. We've got five. Let's hit it in four. Chest in three, two, one. Just squeeze it over. Also, for the little shirt for you guys tonight, keep calm. Drink tequila. Here our motto. During this quarantine we've been going through. I heard some good news and some bad news about a little quarantine. And we're maybe coming down, like something to curve a little bit, which is good. Uh, we listen to it, may or may not be. But I'm going to get into which station I listen to or you shouldn't. So we're not. The last thing we're going to deal with is sort of political debate on here. Don't worry about getting that sweat going. We uh, have 30 seconds here. We're gonna hit that back again on the next set of back rows. I'm just gonna be holding a little bit, a couple seconds on each rep. I felt a little warmer today. I heard we're getting weather supposed to drop back down this week and next week. We're down to the 40s, so we're chilly again. I said they're my favorite, but I do like the fact that I'm able to open up the door, the door, the door and some fresh air committed. It's been a little warm the last couple of days to do that. 
You got about five here. So these rows in four, three, two, one. Each row coming through a slow two second pause. Now again, if you've got dumbbells and bands, you can switch back and forth if you like. I'm gonna focus on the bands tonight. The wedge, the little play show. Well, good morning, sunshine. He was a little stretch because he was a fat head down there at the bottom. And he's back down for the count. 30 seconds. Those that tuned in last night we had Dr. Jason Epstein on. 1-800-BETSNOW.COM Doing a little the veterinarian We're doing some little Q&A with coronavirus and just things for pets and a lot of us have pets and pretty much our, our babies. We're just talking about the possibility of saying, separation anxiety when all this is over. We got three here, two, one, hit that chest. Squeeze it but just telling stories how they had one. I should tell a story how they're they're gone for short periods of time now, which would be normal from before. The cat has a tendency to go and spray some stuff down. So if you have if you've had a dog, especially a male dog, like mark territories. I've never had a cat. I don't plan on ever having a cat. I don't mind if you have a cat, I'm just a dog person. That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't mean I hate cats. That's the other thing we gotta realize. People say they don't like something, like something better than the other. Doesn't mean they hate the other thing. But they're saying they would be gone. A cat would be mad and just spray the couch. And it would just be this little odor you need to smell. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. This little odor they would smell. And what it was, for the longest time, they decided to check their little camera, their like link camera they had in the house. It's this cat just spraying and marking spots. I had a friend whose cat would do that whenever he had a suitcase. Uh, he would spray the clothes so he would have to pack when the cat wasn't around. Again, I've never had a dog jump in a suitcase and mark it because they were going to leave it. You haven't done that, have you, buddy? Billy rolls. All right, so we're about 30 seconds here, and then we're gonna go again. So we're gonna be doing that same thing. Uh, if you have dumbbells, you can switch to your dumbbells. If you wanna stick with the band work, you can stick with the band work. You already know what's coming up. So if you wanna add a few holds, we will do some holds and pulses tonight. This first round, we will not. We're just gonna rip everything through. Just kinda get you nice and stretchy, that blood flowing in those muscles. Excuse me, big guy. I step right back by you, okay? He's like, yeah, you better sit this on the floor. All right, let's get these back rows in three, two, one. Let's go. Back rows here, 90 seconds here. Now, later on, we're going to be doing some single arm rows. So, with the bands, we're going to be focused on keeping those both handles in one hand when we hit those rows. If you have Heavier weights or heavier bands are also all different sets. Um, when we do the single arm, I'm, I've got a lighter set of bands here, so I'll go with both handles in my right hand. If you've got a heavy set, you can try to go with both handles, or you can simply just focus on one side at a time. So we'll be doing a little bit of oblique work as well, and we're doing a lot of chest. I'll be doing some flies. If you have a bench, you can easily lay down on your bench if you'd like. Your chest flies, you can sit up on the end of your bench, do your back flies or back rows. It's your call. 30 seconds here. Five. So, yeah, back to the, to the vets, that story. Cat spray and stuff, man. Not something I can get down with. Angry little kitten. Our kittens can be cute when they grow up to be regular old new cats. But that chest going three, two, one. Now, again, I know we got people who are cat fans. My best friends have cats. That's great. I just have to keep my dog, take care of him. 
he's done a pretty good job of not marking things, but he did well the other day in the elevator. I don't know what was in there and what, what dog or food or something dropped. He sniffed, looked, I just put my head down and I just felt a little tug on the leash, hiked his leg and just peed in the corner of the elevator. I got so mad. He yelled at him, what are you doing? So he said, I'm supposed to mark this apparently. Running back inside, run to the apartment, grab some cleaner and some paper towels, and go back for clothes. That's what's all that for. Look what is wrong with you? I told them how you peed in the elevator that one time, Bear. Everybody knows. Yeah, he doesn't care. He just gave me a big yawn. He cleaned it up, so jokes on me. I did have to learn to not eat. Before, I had lunch earlier, but I had not had a little afternoon snack. I built the temple meals back, so I'm back in my routine. Buffalo with chicken, green beans, sweet potatoes, I have a couple of those after this workout. We got 10 seconds, we're gonna hit that back. We got five, four, three, two, one, four, I'm gonna set those rows. So movies on the agenda tonight. I, uh, I watched last night. Watch Friday again last night. I started watching it today. Go all the way through. Watch Friday last night. Um, actually, ended up watching more sports than I did anything. Just curious about this NFL draft coming up. What they're going to be doing with it. So I they don't follow football. Well. Sports in general, that doesn't mean anything to you. I thought it was intriguing. 15 seconds. Got 10, I'll hit that chest again. And five, yeah, four, three, two, one, chest. And do a couple reps kind of fast. I'm gonna throw in those in the hole. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. But I was talking to Dr. Epstein last night on the 1800vets.com. It's a website, it's not a phone number up yet, but all the services are free. They don't, um, they can't prescribe medicine or medication for your dog, but they can look at pictures. Probably videos, you can do a video chat, um, or there's a number that you can text them to send them videos about your animal. So if you have certain questions, um, I want Kylie Cat, you know, most dog cat, her dog Precious is blind and is having some problems and seizures, and Dr. Jason was actually the one who helped take care of it. We got five more here. Four, three, two, one. Whew, take a break. So what they do is they partner with some of the local vets in the areas, of course, they're everywhere. And so they get paid, because I was like, how, how are you guys making money? But they kind of more of a marketing company for some of the vets. So the vets will hire them to uh, refer to them. So um, like a lot of people, like I've already had a vet. So um, if I have an issue with Bear, anybody, if I've got issues with Bear, I can say, hey, instead of going into any sort of like office fee or anything like that, They'll look at it and say, hey, we might be able to fix, let's say it's his skin allergies. If I can talk with green, here's what we recommend. Um, if it's serious, then they'll be like, well, you need to probably go to the vet. And then it's just a way of not costing you any money. So if uh, they have vet, they have vets on call, they have vet techs on calls, so they have professionals in the field that will be able to help you out. So that was kind of neat. Last night I learned a lot. So I got someone to go to. Especially if you're a paranoid person with your animals and you're just like always worried about it. All right, so this one we're going to focus on just the back. Gotcha. So, this is where we're going to do our single arm rows. So, on this one, I got both handles right here in my right hand. We're going to do a single arm row. So, if you've got your dumbbell, you're going to be doing the same thing. So, I'm going to focus on my rows. And then, after we do one side, I'm going to grab both bands. We're going to do a form of crunches. Now, if you're on the bench, you have dumbbells. You can just plank this out because you're going to be going for about a minute. Those crunches, we're simply coming straight down. So it's almost like you're doing, you're taking your 
the shoulders in towards your knees or towards your hips. You're just pulling down with those bands to add a little tension. So it's like doing a standing crunch. If you ever done it on a machine with like the cables behind you, and you ask, that's sort of what we're doing here. But we're gonna go uh, first on this right side, we're gonna go for 90 seconds, then we're gonna throw in the abs, then we'll switch and hit 90 seconds on the other side. All right, let's here we go. In three, two, one, just set those rows. So again, if you've got the heavier set of bands, this is where you can just still go with the one handle if you like. But if you don't have some, I know some of you have multiple sets, if you have multiple sets of bands, then you can simply just grab both handles with one. So we're trying to focus on that squeeze. When I come back here, core is tight. I'm trying not to twist right here, just rolling straight back. I'm talking about food a second ago, that's all I had to think about. So go to Temple. Yeah, but Shane. Drop off what they call Hot Fit, which is like a um, say healthier version of a, like a little seltzer, like sort of like a version of like a they've got a couple like Vive and Hot Fit, so they're like low calorie um, seltzer drinks, similar to like a White Claw maybe or a Truly, but White Claw and Truly are artificially flavored. These are all natural flavors. So I'll hold off tequila for the weekend. I say that there's a hundred percent chance I might drink some tequila back. Ten seconds. Yeah, five. Abs are coming up in four, three, two, one. You're grabbing both handles. And it's coming straight down here. Crunching it out, reaching towards those shins, reaching towards those knees. Again, if you're using dumbbells, you're just gonna plank here. You're just gonna go for a minute. If you're planking it out. You can go hit dips. You can even drop down and just do crunches if you want. Or really any kind of exercise. So I'm throw in a little bit here. Thirty seconds. Try to really track those abs. Come up slow. Last 12. We got five, four, three, two, one. Get those bands, hit those rolls on the left side. All right, so movies for tonight. What are we gonna watch tonight? I gotta think about this. I almost watched um, Wedding Crashers, always a classic. Um, old school is on my list tonight. I'm in Vince Vaughn and or Will Ferrell kind of mood. Uh, another minute here, abs again. Now again, if you have the both bands in your hand, or both handles in your hand, it still feels easy. You can always just back up to add a little tension. I'll be able to find a heavier set of bands at Dick's Sports Online. I ordered, so those should hopefully be here on Thursday or Friday. Just because we're stopping the YouTube doesn't mean we're stopping the online workouts. What does that mean? Stay tuned to find out. 20 seconds. Go back to those abs. 15. Burn it out here. Yeah, 12. Give me 10. Yeah, 8. That's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Grab those bands, hit those abs, or your plank, or your crunch, whatever you want to do right here. This is your last minute for your cement recovery. And then we're back. For round three. Round three, of course, we're gonna have a bit of a chest. We're gonna sprinkle on a little bit of back. This will bleak work as well. Thirty seconds. Last twenty. Yeah. 
Give me 15. You got 10. That's 8. We got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. All right. A little break here. I'm going to get our defiance fuel. Yeah. Always appreciate them sponsoring the workouts. Oh. The only thing more refreshing than tequila. So I've been just moved into this apartment and upgraded from a little bit bigger space from where I was before. So I have a sweat the hang some monster belly rope. So I've been trying to figure out decorating. And I think I told you the other day, I was going through grabbing some things. I've got like a little entertainment center. It's got, you know, top, middle, and bottom shelf, but an open back. It's fine, but sometimes like the cords won't run through the uh, outlets to come up to the back of the TV because the TV's hanging up. So I was like, I want something I can kind of use as little knickknacks to cover that up um, so it just looks so tacky. So I spent, spent a lot of time today going through the, uh, the cart and the more things I can do, and I just caught myself going down a rabbit hole of going to furniture stores and clicking on the, the entertainment centers that they have and seeing how they stage them and then looking for those online, whatever it may be, whether it's a, a, I don't know, a lamp. I like everything red, as you can tell. A little red accent right there. All right, let's go hit this right side and finish the story. Same thing as before. So three, two, one, set these rules. So then I'm like, oh, got to find out that the lamps and kind of what looks like them. then go and try to find one that's red. So trying to find a little accent of everything. I went and check that card. That card just seemed to get more and more expensive, boy. So I was like, well, now's not the time, but it's pretty plain Jane right now, as you can tell. So I'm saying, aren't you gonna do something with this wall? Yes, we've got some ideas, don't we, buddy? What we're gonna do to this wall, just like this moment. Because somebody likes to eat. So we gotta worry about food. Got as many meals. Any meals really. And then a little skin allergy medication we gotta get. So we're just gonna hold off on all the goods. Making this house look like some looser bar cart. Little things you gotta get. But we'll get around to eventually. So when we get through this by June, birthday's in June, on the 13th, so we're gonna celebrate either on here or out and about, depending on where we're at. 10 seconds. You got five, abs are coming up in four, three, two, one, Put those abs. So we got the park, we got to decorate, we got the uh, laundry, then the sheets, wash the bed, cover them. I think I'm gonna go through my new comforter set. Cause everything I just want to do. I just want new stuff. We already got the new couch, new TV, new retirement center. Bed's still pretty new, so we're gonna keep that. We're gonna change the comforter, and the sheets, the pillows, all that kind of stuff. 15 seconds. So I'm going to hit Wayfair a lot. 10 seconds. Maybe five. We got four, three, two. One. Well, I said these rolls on this left side. You have a. I like when this happened yesterday. Let me tell you guys about my, my Jeep story. If not, I'll tell you this. I'm going to my hair and doing all this stuff. Come back home. Complex. So brick driveway. You pull in. Make a left. You go through the garage. 
and then down to your parking spot. Kevin, I've been driving around all morning. Oh, about two, three hours. We got 45 seconds here. And right as I go to pull into the garage or pull into the driveway, I got an old Jeep. It's got a stick shift. I go to downshift and clutch goes straight to the floor. So I have, and now I can't shift where I'm at. So I can't speed up or slow down. So I can slow down. I have brakes still. So I pull into the driveway. And then there's this left. Now there are future resident parking spots, but I don't know if they're open, but I also have a gate. So the gates take time to open up. Yeah, five here, get those guys at four, three, two, one. So I luckily found like the fourth spot was open and coasted right in, barely made it in. So I'd have to push. They want to talk about one of those, oh shit. But you know what? This could have happened in a better time moments. Didn't happen on the highway. Would have been bad. I mean, you can shift it on the highway. I don't know how to drive the stick shift. You can shift without the clutch. You need to, but not where I was at. So, just had some fluid leaking. All good jazz. So, hopefully, got a really good mechanic. Those you'll need a good mechanic in town. I feel like mechanics are like this. I don't know if you don't know what they're, you're, they're talking about, they can just tell you, take you for anything. So I got a really good dentist that I use, Sherman House. I'm not sure I know him from various. Yeah, five, three, four, three, two, one. And my buddy Colin, he was my mechanic who's done, who works on everybody, every kind of car that you have. Real good dude. Him, a lot of my kiddos, so he'll try to help me out this weekend, but. It was no fun. If it's not one thing, it's another. But instead of being upset about it, I could have been stuck on the highway, had to pay a tow fee, all that kind of stuff. Luckily, I was able to just literally have a break, or yeah, break right in front of the apartment, got right into the spot. The push into the garage, now we're good. But it was just one of those days yesterday. The day was a good day, wasn't it, buddy? Hmm? Today was a good day. Tomorrow's going to be a better day. And after that's the weekend, what do you think? All right, so we got about 15 seconds. We're going to go back to that chest. Um, we're going to do, I'm going to do single arm flies. This is going to be a little bit more challenging. So if you'd like to try to do a press, you can. Um, you might have to step back on this one and come in close. So we'll be doing the chest similar to how we did the back. Except you will we'll go that 90 seconds. You just might, this is gonna be a little more challenging than the than the back row. So if you can't do both, don't worry, you can just grab the one and do the flies across. So that's where we go. Three, two, one. From here. Just trying to come across. Coming out wide, across that body, a little fly. It's like you're doing that bear hug. But you also are gauging your core right here because we're not twisting as we come back. Hips and shoulders are going to stay square that whole time. Step over this little monster right here. Give a little better view of what we're doing. Now, I'm angled a little different. I'm just trying to give you a good view of what we're going to be doing. So in the 90 seconds here, then we're going to turn to the side and almost do like a little bit of a side crunch here. Let's work these obliques out a little. And just squeezing as you come through. Ten seconds. A lot. Thirty seconds. Figure out we're going for ninety seconds. See, I'm thinking about what I'm going to watch. I got the movie lined up. Got the drink lined up. 15 seconds. Give me 10. Last five. five. Yeah, four, three, two, one. I'm just going to turn the side. I'm just going to pull this elbow in towards that knee. So it's almost like doing a little side crunch here. But I'm stepping out so I can add some tension this whole time. Thank you. 
bit of a side crunch here. Squeeze squeezing those obliques on side abs. Thirty seconds here. Turn around, hit that chest on the opposite side. A little bit more abs. So now, next round will be your chest and back. Sprinkle a little bit of abs again. We'll be more holes on the last round. 10 seconds, hit that chest, and five, four, three, two, one. Let's come across right here. Well, I kind of bummed about our, oops, sorry, about our IG talk chat we were having tonight. The individual we're going to use. I was having a bad sore throat. I just had one of those days. So we're just gonna push it back to Friday. So Friday night, date night. And shoot that seven, seven, seven thirty time. Should work out well. Now if you're using dumbbells here, if you have already, if these flies get too hard, you can always switch to a press. Or you can just go heavy press here as well. Under your call. 30 seconds. And we hit those side ends. One. Count that way. Twenty seconds. And about fifteen. Yeah, 10, five, four, three, two, one. Step back, and that side crunch. What's up, big guy, what's you doing there? Looking for food? Uh, get some food a little bit, it's almost dinner time. Oh, I do have a funny joke for y'all with we're asking doctor. I've seen last night. Give us your funniest top five at funny bed stories. And he's like, Well, there's one. He's like, oh, I'll never forget. I think it was, I think it's pronounced in Chinese, crust it. And crust it. It's, and you guys watch, you know, seeing how those guys in 10 days, it's the dog they have on there. This sweet old lady had had it, and it just didn't look healthy. About nine years old. Got five here. Four, three, two, one. Cover. So his dog did not look healthy. So he said it looked like a Chinese crust. He said it was, but it just didn't. It was a Chinese crust. It just did not look like one. It was something. It was wrong. It was having skin issues, all these problems. He asked the lady, he said, well, what do you feed it? She's like, oh, I feed it a church chicken every night for every meal. And he was like, thinking, well, I don't know that brand of food. There's you know, Purina and Pedigree and G and Hill Science and all. She's like, no. She's like, I give, I give him a church's fried chicken, chicken breast for every meal for nine years. And that's why this dog's skin problems look how it did. I was just like, I mean, I love me some church's chicken. And this guy would love church's chicken, but we ain't eating every night for dinner. Are we? Mm -hmm. We'll do peanut butter though. Oh, we'll do some peanut butter though. Oh, boy. Boy. Like, why would you shut up that camera? Oh, feed me. All right, we're going to hit that again. Finish up round three. So on this left side, grab little bands. Let's go in three, two, one. Sit that fly. Heavy fly right here or press, depending on what you want to do. But I wish I could have seen pictures of what that dog looked like. I can't imagine. I don't know some people feed, feed their dog raw meat, raw chicken, things like that. I don't know, my cousin feeds us husky raw chicken. The husky looks beautiful. I just the person don't want to deal with it. I handle it. But he has it. His little chunky butt has the 
prescription diet from the doc because it's so sensitive to everything. We got about 45 seconds here, then we'll hit that side then. About 30 here. This is your call pace you want to go at. Kind of keep my flat a little high. I have my wedge up higher and go a frame than I normally would. 20 seconds. We got 12. We got 10. Okay, five, four, three, one, side bend. Right here. Little side crunch. Just squeeze the those little boots as you come down. You know, pull with that arm if you want. Turn that tail going in. Keep that core tight. That minute here, on that right side, little side bend action. Thirty seconds. Almost there, bear, bear. Almost there. It's gonna get a stink out right now. It's like, yeah. Almost my ass. It's, like, it's almost time for dinner. In his book, it's past time for dinner. Twelve seconds. Yeah, five here. Four, three, two, one. Flip it. Fly on the right side here. Switch it a little bit so you can see. Ninety here. So more volume on this one tonight. And sometimes just get the mood to wear. You want to use bands the whole time. Just work on that tension. Luna was once the gym opens back up, all I'm going to do are dumbbells. I like playing on some TRX a little bit as well. Forty-five seconds. Let those side bends again. I'm trying to think of other funny stories that I had last night. We're talking about separation anxiety and how the one lady's cat marked everything. Then how our friend Cat, her dog will tear things up. Very doesn't really have separation anxiety where he, he tears things up as much as he just pouts. So like lay at the door and pout until you get back. But his dog, he's got a boxer. And so we were on the call for about an hour or so. Boxer decided to chew up on his toys all over the room while we were on the air. Yeah, five here, four, three, two, one. Side crunch. The last minute here, I'll start that fourth and the final round. Tomorrow, that adds an ass work for us. Trying to get a little bit of everything in body wise, and then we'll just go to town this weekend. Friday again, 5 30, and then IG Live, with our special guest. No, no love, especially if you're berries right there. Which if you're not, this is a good time to kind of meet someone from some of the team from the berries group. We got five here, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Okay, one minute break here. Then we're gonna start our fourth and final round. What do you think, buddy? Hmm? Mm -hmm. That sounds good to me. That fourth round's done. Food time. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, some movies tonight. Let's go back to the movies. I like the National Treasure 
National Treasure 2. I like the uh, Angels and Demons, Da Vinci Code. I like those things. I like things that kind of have, but really, believe it or not, I don't really care. Just I like those little clues in movies like that. I might watch those tonight. More than National Treasure, I like the laugh a lot more. National Treasure is a little funnier. Okay. Let's see where I can go. So, we're going to start. We're going to start with this back. We will have a little bit of abs. When we do the abs this time, we'll be doing side bends opposite. So instead of pulling your left side of your other we're just going to be doing a little side crunch on the opposite side. So, uh, we got back coming up first for 90 seconds. Chest, 90 seconds of back, your abs for a minute, your chest, then your abs again. So, but we will have the holds on this one as well, so be prepared for that. So let's go ahead and rip it out. We got 90 seconds on back in three, two, one. Let's go. So we're just gonna rip. For 30, we hold for 30, and we burn out for 30. So this rep's slow. It's controlled, taking our time. So really shooting those elbows back, squeezing those shoulder blades as you come back. In about five seconds, we're gonna hold, 30 second hold coming up in four, three, two, one, hold it right here. I really wanna focus on breathing on that hold right here. 15 seconds to go. Ten. You got five, you're rep it again. Four, three, two, one, rep it out. 30 seconds here. You're gonna add a little bit of speed to this one. Get that burn out. Now, coming up, what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna switch what I just said. We are gonna hit the abs. On this one side, then we're gonna switch to the other side. We'll finish on that chest burn out. You got five, and these sides are four, three, two, one. You just put those hands in one hand, and all the way over, side crunch on this opposite side where the bands are. A minute here, then we'll turn around. Still, my boy. Mm -hmm. Some food. Give some peanut butter on that food. Give you a little treat. You give me a treat right now. If I'm being a good boy. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. We'll turn it around. We're really trying to focus on that stretch as you come back. No side crunches. You got 10 seconds. You got eight, six, you got five, four, three, two, one. Turn around, switch sides. Same thing we just did. All right, so we'll go a minute here. We're gonna try and hit that chest. Now, you can do your press if you want. I'm gonna do those crossovers like I did before, just to kind of keep the same thing. I like that burn that I get with that. Nothing too complicated tonight. No crazy push-ups, no renegade rows. You know, I don't really like those personally. There's nothing wrong with them. They're good exercises. I just don't. I'd rather use the bands and the dumbbells. There's a bunch of push-up exercises out there, and I feel like every boot camp throws in renegade rows of some sort. So nothing wrong. I'm just trying to mix it up for us as much as I can. Got five here, chest and four, three, two, one. Press a crossover, whatever you want to do right here. Now, when you hold on your press, if you're using bands, you're going to come back and hold. Not press out and hold, just come back and hold. Doing these crossovers like I am, it's gonna hold one side over for 15, it'll switch. 
I can't just keep on side all the time. Got five. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. 15 seconds here. Yeah, there's, there's our grace. Five, four, three, two, one. We were being so athletic today. And we realized that we can't roll over on our back and scratch without falling. That's twice this week, buddy. We took yesterday off and fell on your butt today. Burnout coming up in three, two, one, 30 second burnout right here. Not got any sense into you. It's a good thing you got a fat head. Help soften that blow. 20 seconds. A little speed here, squeeze it as we come across. We got 10. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Recover. What's up, Grace? How you feeling? Hmm? I'm just pulling your butt. All right, so we take a minute, we hit that one more time, and we're done. This is it. Come down to the finale. I know, 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 I know. It's coming. It's coming. You're like seven minutes away from dinner. That's it. Very cool with you. Very cool. I want my belly rub, though. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Mmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's knock this out. About 20 seconds, get ready. We're gonna do that same thing. All right. I'll start with the new rows. I'm gonna go with flies on this one. Okay, four, three, two, one. Let's knock it out right here. Go to the flies here. As we change the angle, we hit that back. Three, hold in three, two, one, hold it here. And row or fly, whichever you're doing right here. Higher. Twenty seconds. We got ten. Five. Four, three, two, one, right out right here. Those bands are able to get a little bit of speed. The more speed you can with the dumbbells, which is controlled regardless. I'm trying not to really rock here. Last 10, last 10. You have five. Four, three, two, one. Back is done. 50 side bends. Right, side bends here. I'm trying to reach all the way over so we get that stretch in that right side. All the way back to the right. Little side, side crunch. Thirty seconds here, thirty five. Move out fifteen, we'll switch sides. Finish up that chest. We got ten. We got five. Four, three, two, one, flip it around. Clap in. So, hopefully, we get to do a little bit more 
Good morning. It's a warm weather for us. It's chilly on us. Yeah, there are hoodies again, long sleeve t shirts all over, but that is the Nashville way. Summer one day, winter the next. Never really fails. 20 seconds. Give me 10. Got five, four, three, two, one. That chest here. This is it. Last 90 seconds of our day. Fifteen seconds. We got that hole coming up. I was wondering, yeah, he's alive. He's snoring right now. He's just taking a little power nap for, for dinner. Three to hold in five, four, three, two. Hold here. 30 second hold. If you're doing a crossover like me, really reach through, get a stretch. That chest. Yeah, five. We're going to switch hands if you're doing the crossover in four, three, two. Switch. 12 seconds. Ten to go. Give me five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Last thirty seconds right here. This is it. Give me a little speed. We have about twenty seconds left. Go. We got ten. Last nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done and done. We are finished. Thank you all for jumping in. It's been a little Wednesday evening looking for some class time. See you back here tomorrow, Thursday, uh, 5 30, as an ass, Friday, 5 30, then Saturday, Sunday, 11 o'clock, and then something new coming up probably next week for you. That's what it's looking like. So, um, stay tuned to your Instagram. Uh, most shall we doing it anyway. What else you have to do? So uh, I'll give you a little teaser. We got some new things coming up. So have a good Wednesday. We will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Stay home. Stay safe.